Hello there. Only one could over here. Only one. Look at this vehicle here, man. Brilliant. Starfighter is a great, but this one's fantastic. I've had it a while. I did open it for my Patreons. I never uploaded that video. If you would like to be a Patreon, go to patreon.com forward slash only one Kenobi and find that and about 50 other videos. And why am I filming this guy as well? Well, man, that's my favorite Anakin Skywalker figure. And I firmly believe that this ship just goes so well with that figure because you know, at the end of the day, if he hadn't lost to Obi-Wan Kenobi, what would he have looked like when he got back? Well, first things first, he would have changed his attire. No need to change his lightsaber, given the fact that it still works. Exar Kun doesn't have a red lightsaber. And uh, he might have just changed his attire. Like, look at this. Can you see Darth Vader there? I can. I can see a human Darth Vader. He would have returned the Emperor's right-hand man just like that. He might have changed the color of his starfighter, you know, painted black. That's what I like to believe anyway. So even though that's a concept art figure, how he could have looked in Revenge of the Sith. It also works very well as an expanded universe interpretation of Anakin. What would he have looked like had he not lost to Obi-Wan Kenobi and so on and so forth. But anyway, this is a great vehicle. I'm gonna give you a close-up look at it as well and the packaging. I do have a figure in there, but uh, it's very hard to see the figure that you choose in there. I'll be honest with you. I've got that figure with soft goods on it, so that might work. But anyway, this is my review of the Sith Starfighter from the 30th anniversary. Join me. Won't you? So hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. What a sweet vehicle this is. Starfighters, anyway, are great because they've got so much of the original trilogy in them. Look at that. You know, it's the prelude to the star, the, I beg your pardon, the TIE Fighter. Well, look at that. You know, it's got the window pattern or whatever. This is just an awesome vehicle. Sorry it's taken so long to uh, review it. I did do an opening, and as I say, I will upload that to Patreon as soon as I can get hold of that footage. I've backed it up now. I just love having this guy right by it. Concept art, Anakin. Oh, I could just talk for hours about that figure, but still, this is an awesome Starfighter, and I have actually this morning had a delivery. Can't stop buying off Daniel Chart, but he's doing me some good deals. I've actually bought the yellow Anakin Skywalker Jedi Starfighter to go with my... Obi-Wan Kenobi one, except I won't be able to fit it on that shelf. That's my Revenge of the Sith shelf there. In fact, I have two shelves for Revenge of the Sith. What's going on in that film? That's a great Starfighter. That's vintage collection. And I think the one he sent me was the 2005 one, but this is obviously 30th anniversary, which is 2007. Great packaging. You know, it's I love the idea of Vader being in it, but I, I Vader with a mask. I see Vader with a mask flying that thing. I know that was many years later in the you know, the tie advanced, but um, he could have worn that and he could have flown around with this for a while, but I just think that um, given that when I see this ship, I think of not only Ewan McGregor, but I think mainly of Hayden Christensen, especially when we're talking about Darth Vader, that I just see that this figure just goes hand in hand with it, you know? Just imagine it, he could have taken that last remnants of his Jediism and painted it black. You know, even going back to, if you read the... Uh, the visual dictionary they said about his attire in Attack of the Clones wearing darker colours that was frowned upon by the Jedi Council, you know, though it was in the inwardly even then reflecting his dark tendencies, you know. He had the temper all the way through the Clone Wars and even well he exhibits it a lot in, in Attack of the Clones, as you know, slaughtering Tuscans like that was anyway, fascinating story, isn't it? But this is the Thai Scratch that, this is the Sith Starfighter. Great vehicle. I haven't yet put the stickers into it, so there's this droid here. If you know the name of this droid, please let me know. I'll have a look at the packaging in a minute. I can get the damn thing to focus. That's quite shiny, that, isn't it? We've been talking about back metal on this channel recently. Um, but cool, you know, I need to get the stickers on that, but it doesn't matter, not, not for now. And inside, I've got a crap figure of <laughs> Hayden. But it doesn't matter because it's not really that... It's because of that dark red tint you see, you can't really see in, so... I don't like wasting stuff. If I've got a, a figure that's not worthy of being on the shelf, it can be disguised behind cloudy glass, you know what I mean? But there it is. That came in a job lot, that figure. <laughs> but what would be really cool is to put this figure inside, and I do have a spare. Let me just mount the camera. I'll show you the packaging later. And the mechanism. He's right behind me, actually. I, um... The first ever figure I got of the... The, uh... 
concept art never came with a cape. So I got myself a spare Vader cape and I put it on him. That's perfect to go inside that vehicle, huh? Look at it, soft goods, brilliant, just love it. Still, there you are. I'll put that in later. Let me show you some more things. How about we take a look at the packaging? There you are, nice packaging, nice line of figures. Affordable as well, the 30th anniversary of 2007 was the 30th anniversary of Star Wars, obviously, but the figures to this day, a massive array of figures and vehicles. Very obscure stuff as well, you know, pre-Cyborg, Grievous, Revan, and lots of stuff, and it's not gonna break your bank. But um, here is the packaging, great stuff. You know, I even got a, I think I got the Sith Evolutions pack, which came with this gentleman right here, and that came in lovely packaging. Back then when I bought that, I was an opener. I never kept anything carded. I still don't really. I keep vintage collection stuff carded, but um, I sort of like got that. I remember receiving it thinking, oh, I don't want to open it because <laughs> it looked good, is my point. What's on the back there? There you go. If you want to pause that, you can. If you can just see it, very small, the text up there. Look at these other vehicles you can get down there. How about that? The armored assault tank, the AAT, and then the Hailfire droid. If you've got a big diorama on your <laughs> well you'll need a floor space for that kind of thing to mock up the first battle of the clone wars but um let's just go in on this i'm looking forward to opening up his regular sith uh <clears throat> excuse me jedi starfighter the yellow one i've got this theory as well did anakin like the color yellow was that something to do with the nubian culture look at that right there the sand of tatooine as well yellow now i've got this theory that maybe anakin liked yellow and he had that yellow starfighter because it reflected the Nubian. Maybe something to do with Naboo culture and the colour yellow. Let's go and find one of those guards. This is, where are we? There they are. Look at that. That stripe of yellow. There's something to do with it. I think it's some kind of Padme influence, you know? It was an obsession for her. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, starfighter, let's bring it on. I'm going to pan back for this so you can see what it can do. It's a great ship, isn't it? Whatever colour you get. There's a Mace Window one. You, Mace Wind... Did I say Mace Window? There's a Mace Window one you can get. And, of course, there's two types of Obi-Wan. There's the one he replaced... Because this one got smashed up, as you know, in Hangar Bay. And General Grievous is a ship, and then he had a different one later on in the film. I believe it was blue. Suits his lightsaber colour. Anyway, here we go. Can I do this for you live? Oh, yeah! You see, sometimes... They need a bit of manipulation. That was rubbish. I'm not happy with that. Still not happy with it. Oh, that's okay. It's fine. There you go. Ah. Ah. Let me try that again. One minute, please. Oh, yeah. Nice, isn't it? Attack mode. Oh, this is going to be easy. <laughs> General Grievous' ship is right up ahead, the one covered in vulture droids, except I'm quoting text from uh, Hayden Christensen when he's flying the yellow one there. I just thought it just came to my head. Look at this beautiful paint job on there. Fantastic. And I'll show you very quickly later the vintage collection, Obi-Wan one, because though it was vintage collection, it's near yeah, the... The paint job and weathering that they chose on it was not very good. This doesn't look like it's been touched very many times by blaster fire. Whereas Obi-Wan's, it's got this all on the outside. It might look a bit dusty, that, but um looks like tar, doesn't it? It's okay, at least it's some kind of weathering. It's a good vehicle, that, but um this one doesn't really need it. It's got so much going on with the chrome finish and uh, even without stickers on it yet, you know, it's still looking kick-ass. And there's that classic window view. See? I was going to get rid of that, Hayden. Figure, but that's all right in there. I might put that on my yellow one. But now what I'd really like to do is show you the cockpit with a decent figure inside. Just bear with me one minute, please. Now, Lord Vader, kill any remaining Jedi. You have completed your mission on Mustafar. Bring peace and prosperity to the Empire. Yes, my master. <laughs> Look at that. So that headset just came from an old Obi-Wan. Ironically there, one of these, I think. I don't know if any other figures came with that, but it's quite handy. I seem to have more than one, so it looks pretty cool, that figure in there, doesn't it? And I will give you a look at the cockpit 
empty as well. Speaking of cockpits, that's a really nice one there. See that gold chair? That's why I don't like having any figures sat in it, just to showcase how nice the inside looks. This one, let's get them out of there. Yeah, see, that looks pretty cool. Even without stickers and stuff, it's still pretty detailed. It's fantastic. I did like, I know this isn't Revenge of the Sith, but still, you can't help but think of Revenge of the Sith when you see this ship. And there's the droid there. He does come out, just like all Jedi starfighters, you know, they come with that clever piece there. I don't think you can actually put an actual droid in them. I'll show you the underside as well. Let's mount this again. There are some firing mechanisms, but you know, that's just child's play. What's it say on here? Let's have a look. Hasbro 2004. Pre-Revenge of the Sith sculpt, obviously, so they were prepping all this, all these toys were Hasbro. How do we fire these things? I don't want to fire it in my face, man. How do you do it? Did you press something here? How do you do it? Do it! How do you do it? I know why. Let's see these two buttons here. R R4, R5, whatever his name is. And fire. And fire. Ooh. Ow! Brilliant shit. Really good. If I've missed something, I do apologise. I just wanted to give you an overview. I'm sure I talk more about it in my other video, which I will upload. I filmed that round about Christmas. A long time ago. This is a great figure. Bruh. Vehicle, sorry, force of habit, same figure. Great vehicle. You've got options with your, your figures, of course. You could put Vader in there. That would be quite quite cool as well, I presume, because, you know, Vader's Vader. Soft goods, of course, you'd need. But awesome. Really enjoyed showing you that. Thank you very much for watching. I have been only one Kenobi. Only one. Leave me your thoughts on the Sith Starfighter and the Jedi Starfighter. And stay tuned, because if you want to see Anakin's original from the Revenge of the Sith, that's coming up next in the video. So I'll bring, I'll bring that to you very soon. Look forward to showing you that in due, in due course. This has been only one Kenobi. Only one. Out.